Hello, in this video I would like to present my program Pomelo that I, I have been working on to and for during the last few years. The idea of Pomelo is to take text and turn it into a 3D mesh. So let's get started. I have now launched the program Pomelo. The first step you do is you, you input the text you want to show or turn into a 3D object. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use the word cat. The second step you do is you choose a font. Um, you have a font, font browser, and right now I'm taking quite a heavy font so you can see the 3D effect more clearly. So I'm choosing the font Segoe UI Black. The size doesn't really matter as Pomelo will resize the, uh, the text and the object for you. Okay, once you've done that, you press the the build button in, in, in the first frame and it doesn't seem to be, there's a lot happening. The only thing that really changed here is that the status is turned into a green, uh, into a green V. And which means that you're done with the first part, which is to produce the skeleton. The second part of the program is to profile the skeleton and turn it in, into a 3D object. So you do that here. Right now we're using the round default. And uh, we are right now also using the, the default values for the round profile. So if I now press the build button, I now turn this into a 3D object. And as you can see, it's not only extrusion, you can see the effect of the of the rounding of, of the corners. So let's change the, the parameters a bit. Let's say 15 instead. And now you can see that it's, it's, it's more pronounced, the rounding of the corners. You can also change the number of steps of the radius. So let's turn, into, let's turn it into 30 and you will get much smoother model. And once you have these, the three, the model, you can easily uh, save it. You can save it as an XTL, STL file. Uh, excuse me, all the uh, 3MF files out there. Uh, but this is really meant for further processing in, in another program. Now, you can't do a lot of styling in Pomelo. The, the idea again is, is that you should export this and import it into a program like Blender and, and do further um, further processing layer of the mesh. But what you, you, you can do, you can still do a few things. If you go into the settings, you can, here you can change the background. Let's take dark blue and let's change the, the color. Let's say we have a, a, a brownish cat. And now you can see that we changed the, the appearance um, and th this should be reflected also if you export as a GLTF file, but I'm not sure I have finished doing that yet. Okay, so this is the first thing you can do. You can do a round profile, but in this latest version, you can do a lot more than that because you have a, you have another option for the profile, which is a curve. So let's choose the curve. Let's rebuild this. And when you have the curve, you have something called a profile and you can edit this profile. So if you press the edit button, you will open the profile editor. And the profile editor shows you on the X axis, the distance from the, from the contour, contour. So this basically, this is, this point here is right at the edge of the font and as you go to the right, you, you, you move further away and the Y axis shows you how this profile should look like. And so right now the default is just a straight line. So if we choose this and press build here, you can see that you get a kind of a straight roof on, 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 on the text. Okay, so now let's modify this a bit. 
So let's go in here. And now if you press the, the button here, uh, we can start moving these around. So if we do this, for example, and we do something like this, um, then you will get something similar to what we had before with the round profile. So you can see now it's more or less round. But you can do it a lot more than that. You can add additional vertices. So if you select two vertices here and you choose and you and you add you insert a new node, then you get um sorry about that. Um hold on, let me just do something. Okay, so now if you take this node here and you turn this around. Oh, you're, 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 you're modifying this. I'm, I'm basically, I'm creating a cusp here. Let's do this again. Um, and by the way, you can see that the, when the node turns red, that means that something illegal is going on. It means that the graph is not continuous, uh, monotone continues. So this can be fixed by, by moving these control points around. These are normal Bezier control points. And, and I've tried to model the behavior of the profile editor more or less after the behavior of, of Inkscape. So if, if I now press uh, accept and let's rebuild. So now you can see we, we added a, a, a more interesting profile here. So we can do this again. We can add yet another point here. Let's get another one. And let's do the same thing again. And let's turn this into a into a corner node. Let's go up there. And this here. Okay, it's still and not okay. Let's see what's what's amiss. Okay, so this is okay now. This yeah, this is red now because this second control point is leaning backwards. So if I move it forwards, then it's okay again. So now we have two cusps on, on our profile. And if I do a build here, it will be it will be shown this way. So of course we can we can modify this further by if I select all of these at the same time, we can make it more pronounced. So let's take this and this these two points and, and move them upwards and finally move this one upwards and this make it a bit stronger. Okay, let's make this stronger as well. Yeah, so now you can see it's it's a more pronounced effect. Um, so you can really play around a lot with, with building the 3D model. And, and by the way, you also have here, you have the Z depth, which is the, the distance on the, on the other side. So right now it's a default five, so I turn it to 15. So it's the model becomes uh, thicker. Okay. So this is basically what you can do with the, uh, with the, uh, with styling the, the edge with the profile editor, but you have one more option here and it's this button here which adds another profile layer. So let's do that. Okay, I got, got another linear curve, but I'm going to change this and make it into something like this. Hold on. Okay, I want to have something which is more straight in, in, in the in the x axis. Okay, let's okay. Now this is blue again. Okay, so now when I do a build, I got a second layer. Now, all the layers, they really uh, meshes on, on their own. Let me just make the white a bit thicker. So, so you can see it's not connected here. So uh, Pamela is automatically connecting one, one layer on top uh, with a vertical um, line to the layer right below. So let's do this and you can see that the the white now became much uh, thicker. 
and um, you can turn on and off the layers and the view of them here with the uh, view option so if I turn off the, the base layer I can see that the white is really a, a closed mesh on its own um, so th this is actually fine if, if, if you want to do um, some 3D arts uh, but if, if you wanted to print this on a 3D printer it's it might not be ideal this this connection between the two layers so we can actually use the the profile editor to to improve that so if I instead of doing this I, I now take the the base layer and, and I, I put it down towards zero and, and also let's turn this around so so what I did right now basically we won't be seen from on top because what we're seeing is we're just seeing the, the what what are the, 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 the topmost layer is, is all we're seeing but it will still affect the the, the, the meshes okay let's see what happened here yeah this one is red okay um so now if I do build again it, it seems like not a lot happened but if I now look at the only at the, 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 the base layer I can see that there is some kind of a hole in the base layer which is um, which is a, a much more convenient region like the, 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 the white one is, is thicker and, and you can much more easily kind of glue the white mesh onto the brown mesh if, if we are printing this um, let me just show you one more thing of course you can add a third layer that's right now I support uh, three layers at most so let's keep just a tiny bit of 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 our white mesh around and let's do something like this and again since we're not we're not seeing the the most of the green part anymore so we can make a, a, a hole there so it's more convenient for gluing uh, so let's another let's add another node here and we can bring this down let's get this again okay let's do something like this okay but we want to also want to change the color I, I want the yeah the, the, the level one mesh is already white we, we so I'm changing the level two mesh and I'm choosing red color for it and let's do the build again and now we're doing a build and now we're getting an, an, a nice three color effect and and and, and this is all like this is all the 3d mesh so you can further control this with um, with a program like blender so if, if you export STL now you will actually export three different files that you can then import in, 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 into into blender um, okay so this is basically what you can do with the profiling and the profile editor and um, there's one more option which um, you can do if, if you don't want to use a text you can also load any other uh, SVG file so let's do file uh, load SVG and I'm choosing the file a fish.svg in this case the font isn't used and I press the build button and then I press build here and here I now have the fish svg and, and, and this also if, if I choose now the I have the same profile as I had before I actually updated the version a bit so now you can see I have the D and the height of D and access labels in any case I, I, I sh use this profile and I press build and now I get a, a a three layer mesh out of this and, and, and this again I can um, I can export as SCL and I will get three different meshes um, that's it um, thank you very much for listening bye bye